The Joint Legislative Oversight Committee finally met this week after House Speaker Mike Moyle appointed two of his members to the committee. That allowed the Office of Performance Evaluations to release a long-awaited report on direct care workforce shortages in Idaho. OPE outlined the demand for more direct care workers and how Idaho uniquely experienced a national shortage in 2021 that remains in place today. And over time, we saw that we were pretty close with national staffing levels, but then started to drift. And in 2022, it's estimated that in order to get back up to the national staffing ratio, so the national shortage, we would need 3,000 more direct care workers. By 2032, that's expected to more than triple to 9,500. The national shortage uh, appears to exist and that Idaho's shortage of direct care workers appears to be worse than that national shortage. We've been adding workers slowly, but it wasn't keeping up with the demand that we had because of our aging population. And then we saw a sudden drop in the number of workers here that's following the start of our pandemic uh, in Idaho and does not seem to be aligned with the pandemic itself, but instead after the pandemic, which would align with the hypothesis that other wages started to rise in industry settings um, following the pandemic. 